morning everyone welcome back to my channel this is Heike and you're watching Stone Cold Coffee Crafts today is Thursday May the 28th and this is my nearly daily crafty chat question right in the beginning because I suspect everyone who is watching this is still watching it 20 seconds in I noticed that um, the views on these daily videos have rapidly declined after I would say day three so um, this is not me complaining this is just me asking um, is it too much so should I rather do these every other day instead of every day or nearly every day or would you like me to talk about something else instead of just the crafty stuff with a bit of cat strewn in? Um, just let me know because I want to tailor those videos to whatever you would like to see as long as it fits in whatever I'm comfortable sharing. So please let me know. Um, it's just that it's very obvious that the interest has declined a lot. Hi Lola, good morning. Yes. Okay. Mmm. Did she? Damn, sister. <laughs> Lola and Nelly have been a bit on the outs for the last couple of days. Um, not that they dearly love each other every normal day, but they have been fighting a bit. Uh, sisters, right? So yeah, please let me know. Um, I am happy to adjust as far as I can adjust if um, you have noticed that you actually don't want to see the video like it is now in the format I currently chose. So anyway, diamond painting update. As I... Oh, kitty, we are two minutes in and you're already killing the knitting. I am not happy about that. Um, as I said yesterday, I um, plan to finish the little dog painting. I did. Uh, sorry, I have to remove the Lola bomber. Because she is trying to kill the, the knitting and the yarn over there. And that would be a pity. Ooh. My desk is trying to kill me. Not good. My desk is actually an old dining table I repurposed here and it's getting really old so I need to do something about it. It's splintering a little at the edges. It's it's real wood, that's the good thing, but that it starts to splinter is not so much. Um, so yeah, I had a huge splinter in my sweater right now. Pointing right at my stomach because my chair is too low. Um, where was I? Oh yes, I... Um, Told you yesterday I was going to do the dog. I did the dog, the cat is back, and probably we are going to rinse and repeat in a moment. Um, yeah, and I think I like these little animals that have a lot of white in them because they contrast beautifully with the crystals around them. I had a few of these paintings where everything that was supposed to be white was actually crystal, so it looked silver because of the silver backing and... Um, that doesn't work as good as <laughs> these do with the white and the black. So if you're interested in getting these paintings, I would highly suggest to have a look at the listing. Usually there are pictures of the finished painting in the listing. No cat. No! <sighs> Seriously. Yeah, yeah, I know. Purr, purr, purr. I'm such, such, such a good kitty. Good kitty. I'm just a little devil. Um, there are usually pictures of the finished paintings in the listings. And check whether they use white or whether they, whether they use crystal. I would always recommend using the paint or getting the paintings that use the white because of the much better contrast you see here. So the little dog is finished. Three more to go. Um, as with the, yeah, as with the other painting I showed yesterday, um, there's tons of leftovers once again. So if you have other projects you like to repurpose these for, you will have tons and tons to go. Um, they are very generous with these paintings. I've never run out of any of them. 
And today I thought we are going back to pink and we are going to finish the little goat. And then we only have the monkey and the rat left and I need to um, yeah, get into some serious planning for the book I was talking about. Um, because it would be good to finish that maybe this year, <laughs> she said in May. But trust me, it has happened before. <laughs> okay. So concerning the Diamond Shop mystery package I'm currently waiting for, which is supposed to be revealed next week, Friday, um, I'm starting to get a little concerned. It is still in the same place it has been since Saturday. It's not moving. Um, I know that others have received it, so I'm going to guess this is some kind of weird European thing. Uh, yeah, and I'm starting to get worried, because if it's not here by, by Thursday next week, I am not going to be able to have the reveal before Monday. I'm pretty busy on Friday, and as you know, I can't film on Saturday and Sunday, so that would delay the reveal on my channel until Monday, which is a pity. And I have to contact Ruana and Reggie about that and tell them that uh, this is what is going to happen if it doesn't arrive until Thursday. Uh. <laughs> you know, seriously, I would have thought that at least for packages where you have to pay a high premium charge for shipping and um, Ruana and Reggie ship FedEx Express, which costs an arm and a leg, um, that the shipping companies would not delay them as much because this is actually ridiculous and I know I know we're, we are not supposed to be um, impatient right now I fully understand that I just don't get why shippings to the US work with the same career and shippings to Europe are delayed that much I mean the people are there obviously even if they are less than usual. So what's going on? Why is is Europe not a priority here? I wouldn't mind as much if it was just my stuff, but because this is for this um, particular um, artist reveal, that's why I'm annoyed, basically. So in case you're wondering, I'm not one of these people who keeps haunting shops and shipping companies in the current situation, but this is um, something that makes me a little nervous. And I hope it will be here in time. Like I said, Thursday would be good. Because next week, Friday, is going to be a busy day. Um, so that being said, next week, Friday, is supposed to be the reveal. If I don't have the reveal, I'm probably not going to, to do a video. I, I have no idea if I'm going to have the time to do the, the daily crafty thing instead. So we will have to see. All right. Um, oh, and also I ordered something yesterday and I should have an unboxing of a company I haven't unboxed yet soon. So let's stay tuned for that. And I haven't had an, an unboxing in quite a while. So maybe that will make you excited. <laughs> Two in a row in a hopefully short time. Um, anyway, this is all I have for diamond painting. Um, if you are only here for the diamond painting, thank you for joining me and I hope you will be back tomorrow. Oh no, tomorrow's floss tube, so you probably won't be back tomorrow. <laughs> Whatever you do is fine. Um, but if you would like to take a moment, let me know if you would prefer to change this format maybe to every other day or if I should include something, whatever. Just let me know in the comments down below. And have a wonderful day. So, and while I put the kitty down for the second time, because she again tried to eat my knitting, I'm picking up my stitching and I'm showing you what I did yesterday. Because I did start on the Beautiful Things by Lindy Stitches. And as you can see, I have a giant start. I mean, I know it's not too bad. It's not like this is pitiful. Um, this is a few hours of stitching after all. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I procrastinated a bit yesterday. Just a teeny tiny bit. It could be much more. But anyway, 
we are not going to start a personal guilt trip here. This is fine. And we have a few more days to work on this before May is over. And before you will see the final recap on probably Monday, June the 1st. No, you are not stepping on the, on the stitching. And um, yeah, I should get a lot more progress done on this by then because this is actually my last new start for Stitch Mania 2020. And it is also the last project I plan stitching on until the month is over. And then next month we have to see about finishing at least one of the things I I started um, in the last couple of months because now I'm out of frames and I have so many of these frames and I've ordered one more, which is on the way. I refuse to order even more of them <laughs> because now it's it's really getting ridiculous with all the frames. I personally don't like to take my stitching off these frames because usually... Oh, God, so, no, 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 no. Because usually I don't um, stitch on too many projects at the same time and I can finish them in a decent time for one. And also on these scroll frames, um, usually the fabric and the stitching doesn't get stretched or... Um, crumpled up or whatever so it doesn't hurt even if you put a lot of tension on the fabric when you first put it in it's going to lose the tension pretty quickly it's not for eating and um, it's not going to hurt anything so I like to leave them in here because the one thing I have noticed is when you once you take them out after you started stitching on it and try to put them in again, you will never get the original tension back and it will always be loose and wobbly, which some people probably don't mind. I do mind it a little bit because I prefer if there's at least some kind of, you see, it's, it's not too tight. It is tight, but it's not too tight. And that's actually the type of tension I prefer to work with. Um, and once you started stitching on something, at least I have not been able to get this type of tension fully back. It's usually on one half it's okay and on the other half it's wobbly flobbly. So <laughs> I like to leave them in here. And we have to see, we have to finish at least one of the projects I started that are not stitch alongs. So maybe the baby is cold outside because I haven't stitched on that all month and I would like to get back on the, to that and then see what else. Not the long dog for sure, that will take a bit more. But um, yeah, something has to come off the frame. Yeah, so this is all the stitching I did, quite obviously. Um, we're going to see where this is tomorrow for Floss Tube, I guess. And tomorrow um, will be a bit of a repeat of what you've already seen this week. Um, plus a tiny bit of, of haul. I did, once again, not purchase too much stitching. I bought a couple of... PDF things, I think. Did I? Did I? Oh god, I'm so confused. <laughs> the the everything, the whole week is is merging together and I don't really know anymore what I did last week and what I do this week. <sighs> so yeah. Tomorrow will be a floss tube and I will have to plan out this afternoon, I guess, what is actually supposed to go in there. So that is the stitching plan for today is just to keep stitching on this and you will see it again tomorrow. So once again, all the people that would like to leave now that the stitching part is over, bye guys. And I hope you are back tomorrow for Floss Tube um, because this will be just for you guys. And yeah, leave the suggestions down below if you have any. Thank you. So for the knitting. Let's see. Yes, cat. I know. I'm touching the yarn. The yarn you are not allowed to touch. So I put in a few more rows in this sofa shawl. As you can see by my progress keeper, I put in uh, four, four more rows. So Less than I did on day one, but I actually spent more time stitching yesterday than knitting. Um, so 
that's all I, I managed in the end. It's still okay. As long as I put in a couple of rows each day, we should be finished at some point. Though I have to say, I am now already pretty sure that I don't have enough yarn. And like I said, this particular color is no longer available. These knit grade yarns are only available from knit grade and once they are gone, they are gone. So the green is now no longer available. There is a red and a brown, but I'm actually not, not happy with the thought of combining that. So I guess I have to see if I can get more of this yarn either on eBay or they have something that is called Distachio, but I guess probably the shipping from the US would kill me. Nope. I love you very much, but you are a pest. Yes, you are. I'm getting the how dare you look. <laughs> so I think, think by now you can pretty well make out the hearts taking shape. For the center panel, we are actually now at the point where I had to do the the double center decrease for the first time. And um, this is where the, the hearts are going to form their loops and the new ones are going to start as well because these um, this pattern here um, has a row repeat after row, is it five? Check after which row. I think after row five, I'm repeating from five to 14 or something like that. Cat, that you're lying down on the pattern helps not at all. Uh, yeah, four to uh, five to 14 is the repeat. This is currently row 10. So I'm about to start row 11. And yeah, then the repeat starts for many, many times. I'm supposed to have 29 hearts in the end. Let's see where that goes. And I really don't remember how I did the math on that, but I think I should have gotten one more skein of this yarn. Hmm, not entirely sure. But anyway, now that it's going it, that it's getting longer, it's actually getting much softer too. And the stockinette st uh, stitch sections are actually much nicer than the um, seat stitch. I think anything that involves garter will never be my my favorite. Even though the, the regular garter stitch on the back, it's not really garter stitch, but it looks like garter stitch. Um, feels nicer than the stockinette. So probably it's the, 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 the seat jism. Um, because probably it's it's the bumpy feeling of having a bump and then not having a bump and then a bump again and so on. That's at least what I'm thinking. So we're trying to remove the knitting needle from underneath the cat. Yay, that was a success. And let's see if I can put this away. without her attacking me. So, yarn and plants. Um, I still have plenty of yarn to show you, so <laughs> no worries there. But I'm going to show you one today that is easily one of the most favorite I have purchased so far. And that would be yarn from an indie dyer in the UK called Hedgerow Yarns. That's her logo. Um, when I purchased this, she was selling via Etsy. She has since moved to her own shop and does no longer sell through Etsy. I'm going to link her shop in the description box down below. Most of her yarns um, are one of a kind. So once they are gone, they are not going to come back, at least not in the same um colorway exactly because I think she mostly dyes how she wants and she doesn't record all the dyes she used in which way. So usually when, when you dye your own yarn and you want to recreate a colorway um, you are going to take meticulous notes on everything. 
ideally you are going to film yourself quite honestly so you can always re take all the steps and see what you did when but anyway she doesn't do that so if you see something you like from her shop get it because once it's gone it's gone and these are two skeins of the same colorway dyed at the same time so they should fit very well um, she called the color Avalon and this is her luxury alpaca base and this is the most beautiful yarn. I have purchased a lot of very soft, very very nice to the touch yarn in the last few months, but I, I think her luxury alpaca base is hands down my favorite. There's another one um, I'm going to show very soon that is also super soft, but this is even softer. And it's made up of 70% alpaca wool, 20% silk and 10% cashmere. It is a fingering weight yarn, which means it is uh, 400 meters per 100 gram. I think that's 440 yards, if I'm not mistaken. And I purchased everything she had, which was two. And then I decided I needed a contrast color. Sadly, she didn't have a luxury alpaca in gray. But she had this um, silky yak. So I decided to go with that and um, use that as a contrast color. It's not as, as nice and soft as this one. So I am thinking currently about uh, contacting her and asking her if she can dye me a medium or maybe even a little darker gray on this base. Because she still sells the base, but she only sells a light gray. And I think a light gray is not enough contrast. Um, as you can see, the gray is kind of close-ish. This is a bit, tiny bit um, different, but it's pretty much the same gray. Um, and I think maybe a little darker would work even better. I'm not sure. But this is... Um, 60% merino, 20% silk, and 20% yak wool. This only is 366 meters per 100 gram. So this is a little less per 100 gram. But if you compare the thickness of the, of the fiber, it's actually not thicker. So it should knit up together quite well, hopefully. And the pattern I have deci decided to go with for this is another Helen Stewart pattern. I showed her one of her patterns yesterday. So today's pattern is Helen Stewart's Maytham shawl. And I saw this and thought, holy cow, this is so pretty. I want to try that. So I am, as you can see, slowly but surely trying to do more and more lace. Um, I'm enjoying the lace part on, on the Warming Hearts shawl, so I think I might like knitting something with a little bit more lace. I have no idea in which order I'm going to do all these projects. Probably what strikes my fancy gets on the needles. I'm also trying not to have too many projects going at once. So let's see where that goes. Um... But I'm excited about this one. So it might be up sooner rather than later. I don't know. Um, it doesn't look super complicated. I have honestly no idea what I was saying when this cut me off. Um, so it appears my, um, my space on my phone was all taken up. And that's why it kept interrupting me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're so cute. And why? Why am I telling you off? Such a cute little kitty. She could do no wrong. <laughs> I think what I was saying is that the the lacing on this pattern doesn't look too complicated. And that's why I hope I can um, tackle this sooner rather than later. I have currently no planned order when I want to do what. So I'm currently th just showing you something um, in random order and, and telling you what I plan to do with that. But it's not like I'm going to do it in the order I show you. So, yeah. 
I don't remember what I was going to say. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. This really threw me full loop. Um, these daily videos actually meant that I should have probably deleted all the video footage from my phone every day and I didn't. That's where it brought us. Anyway, guys, um, this cat here needs, I think, some love. <laughs> and I actually need to go back to work. So, I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you will be back for tomorrow's floss tube. Keep your fingers crossed that the mystery package from Diamond Shop will arrive before um, next week, Friday. So I can film the reveal and share it with all of you. This is still so exciting. And yeah, leave a comment down below and tell me what you think. If I need to change something to make this more interesting. Or I don't know. Like I said, I'm just asking out of uh, curiosity and I want to make this daily video thing something you enjoy and I enjoy and not just throw videos out there every day that actually no one really wants to see because they are, I don't know, too repetitive or whatever. But I need your help for this, so please help me out. <laughs> I will talk to you tomorrow, but guys. Bye-bye.